Hi everyone, it's Right2 here, and we're back to play more Black 2 Wedlock. Um, sorry, I'm starting on my menu there. Um, last time we took out Marlin, and we started going along this route being up trainers because that is what Scott told us to do. I know Colrus has technically told us to do the sea to go to the seaside cave because he's given us the Colrus machine now, but I am gonna just finish up. Uh, the trainers along this route, and I do really want to fight a uh, Terrakian. Who, um, hmm, it might be risky, but I do want to try and take him out with Welkin. I love that opening; it's so good, like the slashes and stuff. Ugh. Amazing. Okay, so I believe Terrakian is rock fighting. So I think we should be able to um, do some damage. Yeah, one shot and Terrakian is gone. So <laughs> that's a good debut for Welkin, I think. I think he's a. Uh, He's really proven his worth with, with, with that battle there. Okay, so, as I said, we're just going to carry on down this route and um, demolish everybody who stands in our way. Probably not this Golduck, but, um, you know, we can run from that thing. Okay, so, keep going, keep going. Is there anything wrong here? Oh, okay, no. It's just uh, back to the balancing things that I am absolutely terrible at. So we're not going to try and do that right now. Um, there's like a bazillion Pokeballs around here, so clearly there has got to be some Amoongus. Like I said, if you really want Amoongus, you're in the right place. Just got to pick up a Pokeball, hoping that it's something like awesome, like a TM, and you'll get an Amoongus. And that that is just fine if you, if you really like those things. And a red shard, which isn't bad. I'm thinking of maybe farming the shards before um, I head to the elite four because I'm I've been looking um, or I've been thinking about what I have to do. And obviously I have the gets this fight soon and the chorus fight on the frigate and. Um, then obviously the Elite Four. Basically, there's a lot of like really horrible, dangerous stuff between now and the end of the game. And I'm going to be relying on some, or like on Welkin, for instance. I'm going to be relying on him a lot for a lot of different uh... right. Um... Yeah, I'm going to be relying on Welkin a lot for a lot of. Um the heart of owls and I'm really scared I'm really scared it's like especially because gets this is so soon I'm really really just so worried okay so we'll surf we'll surf get rid of the star mana 10 I don't like I don't like you you're one of your children killed one of my Pokemon and I will never forget it it was a dark Day for me. It's so dangerous that I was in danger of giving up something. <laughs> I was in danger of talking too slowly for you to actually understand me. So, um, right, we have to walk through grass to get to this. There is a pillar in my way. Oh, oh, see what you did, pillar. See, you brought down the wrath of the Amoongus. I hope you're happy with yourself. Get out of my face, Amoongus. I do not have time with your wily ways. Okay. I have no idea what I was talking about, but, you know, we're going to fight this extra trainer, because we can. She's probably going to kill all of our Pokemon. I can see the plea in my Pokemon's eyes to fight and to win. No, it's to not send them into battle against other strong trainers. They're playing with you, not just send them to their doom. How do you feel about that one? Okay, so you've got an Arcanine. You've got an Arcanine. That's worrying. We're definitely not going to leave uh, Welkin against this bro. Um, I'm not 100% how uh, 
Welkin takes fire type moves because he's part rock, is it? Or part ground? So, um, it might not be so bad, but I'm sure as hell not willing to find out. And, you know, that's why I've got Esther. Esther can take the, uh, the fire types. Oh, you. You are canine, you. <laughs> no, stop that. Stop your silliness. Go away, Arcanine. <laughs> You're so silly. Okay. And... Next, Gadrill. I'll keep, I'll keep battling that thing. Should be faster. Should be. Unless it also has extreme speed for whatever reason. Okay. Hmm. Esther's doing a lot better than I thought she would. She's... she's they're taking out Excadrills like it was nothing. The eyes of your Pokemon are glimmering with strength. Oh, thank you. I'm quite, um... Damn it! <laughs> I wanted to go along the thing. I'm quite happy with that compliment. But now I have to go back and do stupid stuff again, because you made me jump off a ledge. Okay, so... Nah probably going to be fast, which is annoying, but, uh, no, okay, we go away, we go away. Right, so now to attempt this one, I always walk along these because I'm terrified of falling off. Okay. There we go, we did it. We got to this thing, which is a max potion, which isn't terrible. It's not terrible. I want to see what's on the other side, though. Okay. This better be good, because this is, like, the most difficult to navigate thing ever. like, who expects like a, a random trainer to have, to have that much skill to get past that freaking thing? And there's another one! There is another thing. Okay. Oh, you what? You what? There's nothing over here? There better be something over here. I'm pressing A everywhere. There is nothing over here. You, you, sir, you, you. I, I, I don't know. Just we, we're, we're gonna fly away. Okay, Esther, take us back to Humalau. Good girl. We're gonna go. Um, we're gonna start heading down Route Twenty One, and hopefully by the end of the episode, we will be at. Seaside Cave? Um, maybe even like start making our way through Seaside Cave, maybe catch a Pokemon so this episode isn't entirely just me killing trainers, but uh, well, non important trainers. I do like to do at least one interesting thing per episode, so hopefully it will be that. Do I even have, like, how many Pokeballs do I have? I have not checked this in a long time. Just assume that I have like five billion. Um, no. What are you doing? No. Okay, it should be at the bottom somewhere. Um. Okay, so we have forty-two ultra balls. That's not. It's not a bad amount. And we have some random other balls, which we'll probably never use. But you know, if they're there. They are there. Okay, so we want to go this way. Okay, so technically this is a new route. Route 21. Which means I can catch a new Pokemon here. Catch this! My Pokemon is huge! I don't want to catch a Pokemon. Did I heal? Did I heal? Hmm. I'm not sure I did. Oh, I did. Okay. Well... Well, can it's like, I think, quad weak to water. So, you know, I, I haven't 100% learnt um, uh, what my team is weak against yet. I know, obviously, Esther has like an outrageous weakness to, to, uh, to electric types. We're gonna fly. But, um, I picked her more because she kind of offset Welkin's weaknesses. Like, 
he's obviously got weakness to water and um, you know, uh, Esther resists it as well, so that's really nice. And obviously, um, I think, obviously being skill type, he'd be weak to fire as well. Oh, you! <laughs> you silly. Oh, ho, ho, ho. no. <laughs> Goodbye. Get out of my face. That's right, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal Esther after that hit, but... You know, he really deserved it after what he just did. Wow, impressive Pokemon, even more than I expected. You only gave me seven and thir seven hundred and thirty-six Poké dollars. The breeders give me more than that, like every battle that I fight them in. <laughs> it's a breeder that gives me one K every time I beat them, and I just have to walk in front of her after entering a building. Do you know how cheap you are right now? <laughs> okay, well, I don't think there's any point using like a, a full restore or a hyper potion. Yeah, Moo Moo Milk took care of that. Okay, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was gonna be like, ugh, get him away, but... Oh, it's a Fridish. I can't even catch a Fridish. Okay, so that's my first encounter. Stupid Fridish. I've already had one of you, and I evolved it, and it was way more awesome than you were, but then it died, so... Stop bringing back the bad. Uh, can't even walk like two feet without encountering something though, and it's an old Fridish! Why did I just tell your brother? I told him to leave me alone. Go away! Stupid Fridish. Right, okay. What's the bet? We can't make it more than two feet. Yeah! Okay. And it's another Fridish, so I've got two more encounters, and then basically I won't be catching a Pokemon on this route. Because they're all Fridish! They are all Fridish. Please, something else appear before then. Something that has a gender. Train with Marlon, the gym leader of Human Owl City. Okay then, so you must be like OP as hell. Okay, so an octillery. But it's level 46. Okay. Okay, so an octillery. That's kind of different. I get Esther taking taking this thing out. Um. Es Esther's ah oh, bullet seed. But it's resisted because of the flying type. But you know that's kind of weird. I'm gonna fly. But Esther's doing okay. Like, um, obviously, Ducklet I feel is like a really derpy Pokemon. But as it stands, it's not terrible. I mean, it's not really like the bulkiest Pokemon in the world, like Swanner. But they've got really good speed. I've noticed. Like, really good. Like, insane. Well, not insane. It's, it's okay. <laughs> it's better than average, should we say. I still have room to improve. Thanks for teaching me a lesson. Okay. We're gonna end up using, like, all of our Moomoo milks, just keeping uh, Esther alive, though. Because, she you know, she's not... Like I said, she's not the bulkiest thing in the world, but... She's certainly taking care of walking at the minute. You know... They've, they've got each other's back. Okay. Oh. Hmm. No! <laughs> I wanted to see what was in the... Oh! It's a man type. But it's a female! <laughs> I need males now. I need males. I've got like five male Pokemon. Five. I've got five male Pokemon in my box. There's only five. Right, and you are like silly, silly weak. Which causes various issues. Hmm. <coughs> You'll be really hard to catch if I don't weaken you. Level 31. I'm like 20 levels higher. 20, 21 levels higher. I'm hoping a surf won't kill you. No, it won't because you have war absorb. 
I'm never going to catch it unless I weaken it. Okay. So hopefully this doesn't kill it. But I don't know. No, it killed it. Because Esther needed to throw in that unnecessary critical hit for some reason. Okay. Well, we could have had a look in the splashy water. The splashy splashy. But... That man type trolled us and then it was like so weak that it was it was criminal. And it had war absorb, which was our only probably our only way of weakening it with this pair. So you are clearly not deserving of my team man type. Plus, you know, as as annoying as it sounds, it was a female and I'm like getting but raped everywhere by female Pokemon at the minute. Like, I just, I really don't need any more. Hiya, hiya! I'm practicing my punching technique in front of the sea. Give it a try. Oh, let's see another thing. I think Welkin is actually weak to fighting types as well, and obviously Esther covers that too, which is quite nice. But it's a crystal. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird for it. It's another Trish. Hmm. You're weak to steel, so I'm gonna stay in. And that should, uh, be enough. Uh, oh no. But you went for a bug type move. Okay, so you were pretty dumb. Hey ya, hey ya, I won't stop punching just because I lost. Good for you. The Pokemon wasn't punching anyway, it was a. It was a. It was a Trish. A Crustle. <laughs> Sorry, they're called Trishes now. They're not called trust they're not called crustles anymore. They say that Oh, it's you again. Okay. Alright, so we've gone back round. Oh god. Oh, it's the end of the world because there's another Pokemon and there's another fridge and I don't wanna even look at your face. Get your face out of my face. Okay. Good. Cool. I'm gonna go this way because Oh no, I might as well. I haven't fought that guy, I don't think. We're gonna go fight that guy. We're gonna go fight him with our wily ways. I want. I really wanted to see what was in that rust, that, like splashy puddle thingy. You see this enormous puddle? They call it an ocean. Wow, you're dumb. Um. <laughs> okay, so Mikhail has a wingle. Wingle, huh? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so Wingo is pretty, pretty terrible. And it's showing this by not using any water attacks and actually just going for the flying type attacks, which I think both of my types resist. So well done, Wingo. Well done. You've done a sterling job. You're really showing your trainer how it's done. Okay, so... You know, I'm, I'm just gonna leave Wilkin there. Might be a bad idea, but... Yep, yeah, they seem to be pretty dumb. <laughs> Aerial Ace causes the Rocky Helmet to come into effect, and that's just... Plain great. So technically they're killing themselves. Whoa, you're enormous too! Thank you. I work out. Okay, um... Let's... Hmm... We'll put Maxwell up front for a bit. I'm trying to keep them all evenly leveled still. And as I said, I'm going to be relying on Welkin a lot, so it's actually quite dangerous when I send him out. I don't... I'm not keen on that. How do I get to that guy? You know, I don't think it's worth spending a whole episode trying to figure out. <laughs> Let's just fight this doctor. Hi, doctor. Oh. Nope. Bye, doctor. Hi, doctor. Hello. Takes a lot of strength to swim in the ocean. Are your Pokemon okay? 
Yeah, but I'm sure you're going to make them not okay, because uh, that's the way Pokemon works. Everybody just just big fat murderers. Okay, so you've got an Alamomola, which is lame. Thanks for being lame. Okay, so ooh, psychic. You know, psychic your your thing. I don't know, when I think of doctors, I don't really think, oh yeah, an appropriate Pokemon for a doctor to have is an Alamomola. But then what is an appropriate, well, I guess a Chansey or a Blissey, because that's, you know, what they have in, in the animes, but... I see, what energetic Pokemon. Thank you. Okay, will you heal them now? Okay, I'll replenish your Pokemon's energy. Thank you! See, I like these trainers. They they know they know how to make everything there again. They kill your Pokemon, and then they heal them, and then you can't use them. But at least they're alive. At least they're alive. Okay, so we're in Seaside Cave now. Uh, so I do I will actually be exploring this now. Okay, so we've got Battle Girl here, which is quite nice because uh, Maxwell is out front. Greetings. So shall we do this? I think it's a Battle Girl. I think that is a sprite for a Battle Girl. Have I encountered anything yet? I don't think I have. Oh, she's got hair across. That's kind of... Hmm. It is part fighting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so that was nothing. Okay. <laughs> I was kind of worried there for a second. Obviously, it still could have had bug type moves, but I don't think I've encountered anything in here yet. Really paranoid now. I'm gonna catch something, and then if I've already caught something, well then that's just tough. I'll have to let it go. Right, so... what? Oh, it's a woo bat! Oh, why in female? Be something else! Be higher level! Something! Um... Maybe if I flatter you, you'll hit yourself. Does that sound agreeable? Okay. Please hit yourself. No! Don't use attract! Don't use attract! He's already taken! That's it. Ares is going out now. And you can't attract her. Because it will be lesbian. And Nintendo doesn't believe in lesbians. Yeah. Now you got nothing to do but hit yourself. All day. Uh, I'll try a Pokeball, but I don't think it will work. <laughs> uh, we'll try the Dust Ball. Okay. Go in this thing. Or I swear, yeah. Yeah, you would have been in for a world of hurt. Okay. The heart-shaped mark left on the body after a Wubat has been attached to it is said to bring good fortune. Okay, because of the heart on its nose, I'm really tempted to call it... Uh... I'm going to call it Juliet. Okay, and it's, it will live in the box. Juliet, obviously from Lollipop Chainsaw, but um, yeah. So, so she's gonna live in the box for now. I don't really have much need for her right at this moment. I wonder what happened if I went down those ledges. I kind of want to go back and see. <laughs> I know it might very well annoy people, but what if there's a Pokeball along there? I mean. What would I do then? I won't have that Pokeball. But there's a trainer up there. I have to go down the ledges. I'm sorry guys. It's it's necessary. It's so necessary that it's necessary. I'm not gonna go in that. Oh, there is a trainer down here, but it's the dirty dirty murdering trainer. Okay. I wish that these Pokemon would get out of my face. Goodbye, Pokemon. I'm going to fight trainers now. Okay, bye. 
Right, so... I hold no grudge whether I win or lose. The point of, my, of battle is to train my Pokemon, after all. Okay, so... What have you got? What Pokemon have you got to train? Uh, Ranger Mikiko. Ah, that's interesting. That's an interesting name. Of uh, the Brava. Whoa there. Whoa there with your other brother. I wonder what Psychic would even do to that. Probably not a lot. Or kill it, you know. Whatever. Maxwell's got this clearly. Uh, <laughs> cool. Uh, and a Gligar. A Gligar. Well, the Aries take out the Gligar. Okay. Um. We'll do Blizzard. Oh, it's punching me with its sky fists. Oh, that did nothing. It was super effective in everything. And Blizzard actually hit for once, and that is just crazy. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> my that was terrible. Oh, but I really wanted to win. But you were terrible. Okay, you were actually terrible. You hit me with a fighting type move, and it did sweet nothing. My Pokemon really go into a funk when we don't win, though. Yeah, I bet they do. They're, they're lamenting the fact that they have such a terrible tree. Um. Okay, Vivi and Trish. Vivi and Trish, you is your go. It's your go for this episode. Don't blow it. You've got to make something of yourself. I think the way down here is actually the way to the Plasma Frigate. So I don't know if I'm actually wanting to go down here. What I actually want is is to go across the other ledge. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm fairly sure. Uh, well, I guess we'll just carry on, and then we'll go down that way when it's story time. Story time! I'd really like these Pokemon to leave me alone, though. It would be most agreeable. I only fight trainers. Like you. Oh, there is an item there. That is sad, sad making. Sad. It better not be anything good. No. Oh. Uh, I kind of want it. I'll do it on the way back. I'll do it on the way back. I kind of want it though. Just saying. Okay, so not because that's kind of dangerous. Um. Trish. Trish, I need you. I need you, Trish. Go, Trish. Beat up the Sonics. Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do, so you're gonna feel so silly. <laughs> Bye. When you come back up, you're gonna feel like such an idiot. I bet you feel like an idiot. <laughs> oh no, okay, that will hurt me. A lot. Okay, not a lot. But it will still hurt me. Um, we'll dig again. Bye, Onyx! Ha! <laughs> Hi, Onyx! There you go, that's how you kill an Onyx. In one easy step. Or two easy steps. You send out Trish. Step one. Then you dig. That's the second step. And then you dig again, because they've sent out a Lyran, and that will not be... It could be dangerous, because... because still. But... Hoping they will just go away. Yeah, it just went away. Cool. Bye. So you were slightly dangerous, but um, it was uh, not enough. Thank you for the person, very Brosif. Okay, so let's... okay, so this is the reason you can't go in the seaside cave from Undella Bay. Yeah, why not? Okay, so, um, 
if, if you defeat this guy, I think he moves out of the way. But he has like four rugger rollers, and you know what that means. They're gonna be sturdy as hell. Which is pretty, pretty annoying. So, I put Dig on Vivi because obviously I, w I was scared about um, fighting Thingy, Marlon, with his uh, Caracosta. So, Vivi can dig at the minute, which is nice. Oh, Sandstorm. I suppose it doesn't matter too much. It will matter for this turn because, yeah, BB won't all be affected by it, but I'm planning to switch into Trish after this Rock and Roller anyway. So, pretty much a bit of a waste. What did you just do? Did you just explode? This battle. It just became a whole lot more worrying. Okay. <laughs> Thankfully, I was digging. I was a digging at the time. Okay, we're gonna heal up the pointed stuff. Moo moo milk. But that was scary. I did not like that at all. Hopefully, it'll attack me and then, um. Oh. Well, hopefully, it will miss and be a big doo doo head. Okay. I really, even though it would have been super effective, I really wanted it to hit because it would negate um, the sturdy because it would be like a, it would be an, a, an Oko. But um, sadly, the, the rock and roller was dumb and set up a sandstorm for some reason, even though it won't do anything. Okay, so it just set itself up, set itself up for death, basically. No, I'll keep at him. I'm hoping that if, if it, even if it came to it, Trish could take an explosion, which would be absolutely grand. But um, Nozox is scary. <laughs> just saying. Thankfully it is slower than me, so it will always probably explode on my off turn. <laughs> Goodbye, Rug and Roller. Yes, you have fainted. Good bike. No. Okay. Why do you have so many? Clearly this is a broken formula that you are that you are using. <laughs> I'm surprised you have never been beaten before. You you are dumb. Oh, it actually hit with Stone Edge. That was that was bad. But you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, why? <laughs> I'm clearly not taking any damage from it. What's wrong with you? Okay. Okay, so we beat this guy. Strength that goes beyond mere abilities. You there, something. <laughs> you there, I said something. Hmm, your strength is a real thing. My rock and roller and I must become even sturdier. So we're off to continue our training. Farewell. Okay, so he's gone now, and that means that you can get back uh, to Undella Town through Undella Bay. But, um,. That's going to be it for this time guys, next time I'm going to be heading towards the Plasma Frigates because since I think we've done all the trainers in this place, I'm going to get that Pokeball. Probably I'll, I'll start off where it is and, and just do like a little clip of me picking it up so you guys can see and then I'll carry on down the other route towards the Frigate. So until then guys, bye!